Hey everyone, what's up? It's Nick here, and today I'm going to be continuing my answer back video series. And anyway, today I'm going to be answering two questions which I got on my Help Me Answer Questions video. This is this answer back series is actually taking off really well and getting a lot of questions. So anyway, I've got one question which I'm not really going to be able to give a good answer to, and then I got another video which is going to be this full tutorial. So question number one comes from Combat Arms Reborn, which says, Can you make an can you make that intro? Could you make a tutorial on how to make that intro? And uh, I've been trying to say this ever since I got my intro. I did not make my intro. Uh, actually, the person who asked the next question made that intro. So he already posted in the comments of another one of my videos saying that there will be no tutorial on how to do this. So sorry, guys. There will be no tutorial on how to make my intro. Even if I could, I couldn't make it. So... Yeah, I still can't make it, but anyway, that just answers your question, so sorry about that. Now, uh, the next question comes from a username, Winfreak, and uh, he actually is the one who created my uh, intro, so he is actually the one who created my intro to answer your question up here. And anyway, he asks, how can I make a full desktop recording with 1280 by 800 screen resolution, but have it without any bars on YouTube, just crisp and clear HD? So basically what he's asking is he's asking how to record the screen of a laptop or desktop with a resolution of 1280 by 800 and how to go ahead and do it so it's full screen on YouTube, you know, like widescreen without any black bar so you can get the nice clear YouTube widescreen. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that. So anyway, coincidentally, my laptop here is 1280 by 800 screen resolution. So Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys. If I go to, oh wait, it was right click, personalize, display settings. As you notice here, my screen resolution is 1280 by 800 pixels. And so let's say I want to go ahead and take a screen capture or a screen recording of my desktop right here. And I want to record it full screen so you see everything that's here on my desktop but you want to go ahead and render it so it is widescreen on YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do this and so I'm going to be showing you guys inside of Camtasia Studio 7 so uh, I'm just going to show you in Camtasia Studio 7 if you guys want to figure out how to make a widescreen recording inside of a different program well, feel free to go ahead and contact me but anyway I'm going to show you guys in Camtasia Studio 7. Now what I'm basically going to be doing is I'm going to be taking this video in two parts. I'm basically going to take this part which I'm taking right now I'm going to record this and then I'm going to stop it and then restart it up and then put it in through Camtasia to show you how I render. So anyway, uh, to go ahead and show you my render settings, I took a screenshot of my Camtasia window, which is right here. As you see here, the dimensions I recorded at were 1280 by 800. You could also tell because you were seeing my full screen. Because uh, normally when I make a recording with Camtasia, I usually record in 1280 by 720. So anyway, this is actually a special occasion for me for recording in full screen. So anyway, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop this video and then I'm going to restart it with this clip as our demonstration clip. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to stop this video. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so now I'm back and I'm done recording. And as you guys can see over here on the side of the screen, I have a little camera file that says capture one now, which is the recording of the first part of the of the video, which is what I'm going to show you guys. And anyway, what we want to do is now I'm going to show you how I render my settings in HD. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up with Camtasia. And as I said before, this is Camtasia Studio 7. And sorry guys, I just had to take a little drink, so hope you guys don't mind while we wait for Camtasia Studio to load. So, yeah, here we have Camtasia Studio loaded, and as you notice here in our clip bin, we have our Capture One Camrack file. So I want to take that and drag it into the timeline, and then when it comes up to this, it says, What size do you want your video to be? Where it says dimensions, you guys might think of 
picking 1280 by 720, but don't do that because then Camtasia will size it down to have 1280 by 720 resolution and you'll get those black bars. Now it'll be different for someone with a different screen resolution, but if you have this resolution of 1280 by 800 like I do, then if you click 1280 by 720, Camtasia will size it down and give you the black bars and so it won't be widescreen. So to keep it widescreen, what you actually want to do is keep the settings at 640 by 400, which is the automatic setting. So make sure it's 640 by 400. And then make sure keep aspect ratio is checkmarked, then click OK. And then as you notice in the preview window, everything is widescreen. And so it just created my little smart focus things, which I don't want, but I'm not going to render this video until later when I add this part onto it. So now that we have everything here is in widescreen, now we want to go ahead and export the settings for HD. So to go ahead and do that, you want to go up here to Produce and Share. And then go down here and check your presets. Now, I already made a preset for this, which is 1280 by 800, and I did it with a watermark because, as you guys can see in the bottom right hand corner, there's a little watermark. But uh, yeah, so that's just this. So, you want to actually go down to create a new preset. So, click add slash edit preset right here. Then go ahead here and click on new. And then go ahead and name it. So, I'm going to name this uh, 1280 by 800. No. No watermark. And I'm going to go ahead and choose my file format. Now, I like to render my files in MOV file format just so I can go ahead and uh, export them to my uh, Mac so I can go ahead and edit them on my Mac. So I always like using the MOV format, but that's just me. You guys can use any other format you want to, but I typically use MOV, which is just me. So I'm going to choose MOV and then I'm going to choose next. Then I'm going to choose quick time options and here under settings. I'm going to keep the compression to H.264. I'm going to keep the data rate restricted to 8,000. And then I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to go here to size. And I'm going to change the size to 1280 by 720 HD. And I'm going to click OK. Then here under sound settings, I'm going to make sure that I just keep these sound settings like this right here. Click OK click OK right here and then I'm going to go click next and it'll come up with the video size. Once again I'm going to change the width to 1280 and change this to 720. So 1280 by 720. Then I'm going to go ahead and click on next. And then here's where you can go ahead and add in a watermark. So if you want to add in a watermark like the watermark I have on the side of my video you can just click include watermark then you can go ahead and choose to where you have your watermark but I don't want to add in a watermark to this preview right here. Then what you do is just go ahead and click on finish, then you click on close, and then you go and select the preset, so 1280 by 800 no watermark, then you click on next, and it will render your video. But I do not want to render this video because I need to edit the part that I'm recording now over it. But basically, once you go ahead and render it, your video should appear with widescreen in HD. And just to prove it to you guys, I did the same exact thing with the same exact settings, and I uploaded it to my test YouTube channel, which is where I test out my quality whenever I figure out a new way to record or get a camera or something. So I recorded a test with the exact same recording dimensions, which is this right here, and it actually came out really good. So if I just pause it right here, as you notice, it went to 720p HD, and then as you notice, everything is widescreen. So I'm just going to full screen everything for you, and I'm going to try and play it back in 720p HD. Once everything plays back, it should play for you guys. Okay, everyone, so I'm just using this as a quick test to see if I can record full screen HD with 1280 by 800 screen capture quality. Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next video. So as you guys could probably tell, it had some black bars on the bottom of it, but that's just because of the full screen on my laptop. But as, you can, but as you guys can see here on the uh, YouTube, it has complete widescreen and complete HD, and it rendered to 720p HD. And so that's how you go ahead and do it. Those are my settings for the 1280 by 800 screen capture. So that's how I go ahead and render my videos in HD and widescreen. I hope this answered your question, Winfreak. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.